Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about SQL injection. But first of all, we're going to be talking about what it is and uh, we're going to be creating a small program that's going to um, check a username and password. So we're going to be creating a program that's going to select a row from the database uh, where a username and a password both match, therefore logging a user in successfully. So if you haven't already looked at the user system tutorials, go back um, and have a look at how we log users in. Um, otherwise, if you uh, don't really want to do that, you can follow through anyway and uh, have a look at uh, what I'm doing here. So I'm going to be explaining what SQL injection is, and then I'm going to be giving some uh, small tips to protect, protect against it. So we're going to have some uh, server-side tips and also tips in our code uh, that we can use to uh, help prevent at least against SQL injection. There are obviously many methods that you can use uh, based on uh, form validation etc etc um, adding slashes where quotes are um, but we won't worry about that for now we're just going to chat a bit about what SQL injection is. Now if you've already looked at queries you'll know that um, uh, a structured query is something that we use to uh, retrieve information from a database or insert the data. Um, we can also delete data, etc., etc. So when you're supplying a command uh, or an SQL statement, uh, for example, to uh, say select data from a database, um, we do something like this. So let's open an SQL tab here. Now you see that we've got, let's just go back so we can see. You can see that we've got username and password. Now, if I was to select um, a row from this table, we've got a database called a database and a table called users. We've got an ID field, a username field, a password field, and an email field, which isn't relevant to this tutorial, uh, nor is so much the ID field here. So, username and password. Let's go ahead and uh, create an SQL uh, query that's going to select a uh, username and password. So, we start with select, and then we say select. Um, we can select the ID from, we supply the table that we're selecting from, so users here, where, so select ID from users where username, make sure that's in the uh, apostrophes, uh, username equals Alex and password equals uh, pass123 for example. So I'm going to copy that into my clipboard so I can use it later on. When I click go you can see that we've returned one row. We've returned the ID um, of the row where the username and password both match. Now for example if I was to copy and paste this back in here but change the password slightly so uh, blah for example uh, as the password you'll notice that we won't return any rows. Okay, so MySQL returned an empty result set. Now in PHP we handle this using the MySQL num row function. And what we do is we say if um, if our query, so based on the user's input of the username and the user's input of the password, if the uh, MySQL query or the result or the num rows that are uh, returned, the number of rows that are returned, are equal to 1 or greater than or equal to 1, we know that we've successfully logged the user in because they've supplied information which makes this query um, work. So if you, if, like I said, if you don't understand at this point, it's a good idea to go back and check on the uh, the uh, username and um, sorry the login and register tutorials where we where we set sessions for our users. We uh, perform this kind of validation. But what we do need to do is protect against SQL injection. Now let's take a look at what SQL injection is. Let's just uh, browse our database and we can go back to our text editor. So let's um, let's uh, get rid of these tags and let's construct the query that we've just uh, done. So we've got select ID from users where username is Alex and password is blah. Let's just say up here we have username equals and dollar underscore post username and uh, we have password and exactly the same thing but this time we are selecting password. Now these are presumably two fields that we have in an HTML document uh, that are HTML on the page that, to, that a user can enter their username and password. So they can enter absolutely any value they want into here, be it um, alphanumeric characters, uh, just numbers, we can have characters, anything we want. So the user has submitted their own data which then goes into this query and we've seen this uh, by just literally substituting in variables here and here. 
Now, this query will then select um, a username and password from the database that her user has supplied. So let's say that they enter a username, I'll just put it here. So let's say the username they enter is Alex, and the password that they enter is pass123.